In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add your computer's desktop to your Instagram stream using OBS. Hey there, welcome. It's me, Greeny for Greenbox, and here's a short list of things we need to make this video happen. First of all, you need a laptop with an integrated webcam or any other computer with an external webcam. It doesn't matter if it's a Windows computer or an Apple one. In my case, we are going with the MacBook Pro, um, but the procedure on the Windows computer is pretty much the same. So you will be fine if you follow along this guide. Next up on the computer, we need two pieces of software. First, we need the so-called OBS Studio, which is Open Broadcaster Software, which is software which allows us to stream to pretty much every place we want to. Next, we need a software called Yellow Duck, which is a software that allows us to use our OBS stream to send it to Instagram. Just go ahead, go to the links in the video description below, download those two pieces of software, install them, and then come back. All right, so once you installed and started OBS, we have to set up a new profile for Instagram. And we can do that by going to profile, new, and call it Instagram. In this profile, we will save every setting which is important for Instagram. And we're just gonna do that by going to settings, then to video, so the important thing here is to set our full HD to vertical instead of landscape. And we do that by simply changing our aspect ratio and typing in 1080 times 1920. Once you press OK, we end up with a situation which looks pretty familiar. Next up, we are going to add a scene collection. And we do that because in case you're using OBS Studio for something else, for example, your gaming live streams, you don't want to mix your gaming live streams scenes with your Instagram ones. So we're just gonna separate them by creating a new scene collection. In this case, we call it Instagram 2 and save that. Once we did that, we can start to add sources to our Instagram layout. First, we want to add our desktop because that's basically why this video is here. So we go to display capture, say that's my desktop, give it a name and set it to display one. And that's my display. And next up, we want to have a face cam because I assume that your Instagram viewers who want to connect with you want to see you actually talk to them. And to enable that, we just go again to sources and go to video capture device, press it, name it, whatever you want. In my case, I name it webcam, press OK, and select your webcam. In my case, it's the FaceTime webcam. Hello. <laughs> So we add that and we are almost done. But next up is a pretty important step, which you might should not miss. Uh, I did it once, it was kind of embarrassing. Maybe your viewers want to hear you too. So we need to add an audio source, otherwise they will not hear you. Um, to do that, we go to add and say audio input capture. We do that, I call that this mic. Go ahead, say device, this is my MacBook, microphone, and now you can see our viewers will be able to hear us. So next up, it's layouting. And that's pretty much whatever you like. Uh, in my case, I'm usually going for this setup. I'm using half a screen for my desktop and the other half on top for my face. You might already notice something. We are going to have a hard time smashing our white screen desktop into a vertical video and therefore I usually only use half of my desktop when I stream to Instagram. So I have this kind of a vertical video aspect ratio. And to do that, I'm just scaling up my desktop view uh, until I reach just about half of my screen. And now I'm good to go. So with this layout, I can, for example, um, set my OBS to one side of my screen and then use my Photoshop on the other half and people in the Instagram stream will be able to see me work in Photoshop. By the way, this is something I regularly do on my Instagram account, so go for Back to our actual video. Next up, we need Yellow Duck and to do that, well, you go to Yellow Duck, download the software, install it and once you did that, you have to log in to Yellow Duck with your Instagram credentials. 
and make sure that you set the allow comment and save my video to my Instagram story before you start the stream because as soon as you start the stream you will not be able to change that setting unless you end the stream and start it again. So in my case we are just going for allowing comments and saving it to my story. Next up, login. Once you're logged in to Yellow Duck, you will be presented with an RTMP URL and a stream key. And it's very important, you do not share those credentials with anyone, because whoever has those informations can stream on your Instagram account. And I can imagine you wouldn't be so happy if a random dude just like me would stream to your audience on your account. So do not share those credentials. Anyway, the reason why we are offered those credentials is because we actually need them. So we go ahead and go to the RTMP URL, copy that, go again to OBS, to our settings, go to stream, say we want to go to a custom service, in our case Yellow Duck, say set the URL to our server, then go back to Yellow Duck, also copy our key and paste that into stream key. All right, and as soon as I hit the start streaming button, I will be live on Instagram. Let's hit that button and check that on our Instagram page. And indeed, I am live on Instagram right now with this uh, Photoshop thing. And hello viewers, sorry, this is not really a real stream. This is only a test for a YouTube video. Uh, my next stream will be tonight. So if you are done with streaming, make sure to first go to OBS and say stop streaming. Once you did that, go over to Yellow Duck and there say save and finish. Confirm that. And as soon as you do that, your stream will actually be done. And this is how easy it is to stream your computer desktop to your Instagram audience. I hope this video helped you. In case it did, please leave a like and let me know that it really did help. Also feel free to leave a comment to tell me that this worked so I have some kind of feedback to know if I should do content like this in the future too. And if you want, subscribe to this channel. Also, we are on the end card so you can click one of those videos which will be super interesting because YouTube knows best what you are interested in. Okay, so I'm Greeny, this is Greenbox. I will see you in the next video. See ya, bye.